Yeah. What are you looking for, honey? Oh. Okay. I'll just go back into the Pleasure Palace. back. Couldn't stay away, could you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. Hmm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. Mm-hmm. Poor, poor David Hatter. David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies, and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Yes. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David, a kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. David's such an endearing and creative fellow. If I did this personally, I'm sure he'd never speak to me again. And that would just break my heart. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. After this is over, I promise, you'll have my complete attention. Sorry, no vacancies. I'm David Hatter, the manager here. Did you call earlier? Cause I had to give your room away. Apologies, my bad. Oh wait, hold on a sec, okay. Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like 
that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. Does a writer write, or does he just, like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius? But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be believable. A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Cause man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. You do? Man, that's fantastic! I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Okay, okay, he's a guy, calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. Going somewhere? I didn't know. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> please, find your heart. Please, find your heart! You, you, you could let me go? I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. Uh, I, I don't have much. I, I, just some, some money? A uh, hundred bucks or so? Thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. back. Please, call me Vivi. Mm-hmm. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just, I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here, would you tear it up for me? Are they? I mean, did you? 
It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world could be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. are so dry. I'm a desert rose. I want your storm. I need your rain. Just a few drops. Make me blossom. Oh, thank you. Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 